Okay, it's springtime, so so let's do some mating. <clears throat> and what would I? We'll go over all the all the wealth I've been bestowed with the responsibility of scamming by well <clears throat> the Nigerian <laughs> Nigerian community. I guess that's um that's the the new place where all the uh, whether you're onshore with Craigslist, um, doesn't matter, uh, you know, you, you could be in Australia. It's all Nigeria! That's the new cyberland, I guess, for scammers. <coughs> Everybody's from Nigeria. Yeah, so. Let me share this with you. There we go. So, here's the latest. They're no longer um, sending over couriers with lock trunks with the secret lock code. Yeah, don't forget the secret lock code. Otherwise, that bastard courier uh, might, um, Himbutu might um, steal the money and never show up at the rendezvous. So, so you never want to, you know, when you're giving them your, all your, uh, well, location credentials you know the standard information this stuff here <laughs> you never want to mention that they're actually carrying a lock box full of money through customs oh yeah over the airplane right okay as soon as you of course pay up yes you you have to pay the banking and export fees, or it'll never reach you. And, you know, if, if you actually pay those, well, that Western money, Western Uni, Union money o gram will never actually reach Nigeria. The fucking border guards must have stole it, or, you know, whatever, use your mind. So, um, here it is. Um, we accelerated this one. Um, she actually came to me through Craigslist, uh, Ukraine dating site, I figured, well, you know, what the hell, we'll try the luck there, maybe there's some people that, some girls that deserve to get out of the, uh, global Zionist, um, sacking that it's getting now, <clears throat> I guess that's, uh, it was, uh, t too expensive for Saudi Arabia and Mossad to divert the Al-Qaeda to attack uh, the Sochi Olympics, uh, especially after it was known that there were three neutron devices generating, uh, neutron generators, nukes, basically, uh, in the area. I guess that was it. The, the, the Al-Qaeda, the, the, the more experienced members of the Mossad contractors must have wanted too much to, uh, you know, like, danger pay to go in and trash it, so all they could find was useless idiots, and, well, they diverted them at the last minute to, uh, Ukraine, I guess, and that was to punish Russia for protecting its people from needless slaughter in Syria, and, and the billions of dollars it's invested in Syria. That because you protected your assets that you rightfully and lawfully um, earned in Syria. Hey, Bear Bear! Too, too early for that, bud. No. Oh, yeah, you come in. Bear. Bear! Psst, psst. Morning! Oh, I'm pretty good. Alright, I rounded up two syndicates in Nigeria. <laughs> on, on the internet, eh? If only I could find a way to make it pay. <laughs> you gotta love crime fighting from the seat of your pants against billionaires. They're really turning to crack. Come on. Here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No barking. You're gonna wake your neighbors. Oh.
Oh, shit, here, let, let, let's just take a little diversion here. This, this looks like we're getting chemtrailed. Which I kind of expected, given all the solar weather. Get back to that a couple of planes from there. Anyhow, sorry for the disruption. <clears throat> Alrighty. <sighs> so you've had a chance to read that over? Okay, here's here's my reply. I've decided to give the direct route to, you know, just when they're expecting the money, you want to give them the money shot, as they say. <laughs> How do you like that, eh? Isn't that a twist in the storyline? I don't want to bore my viewers on my... Well, second last video. By the way, it looks like uh, I got YouTube and Google in the corner. They want to just shut me up. So I think I'm going to take their $3.22 million. And because uh, none of you guys have expressed, or at least you haven't successfully replied to me, expressed the first fucking droplet iota of... Uh, getting in on a uh, class action lawsuit. Of course, I understand most of you are actually um, shills that, you know, two out of ten are real people that get rotated out of my um, subscribers list and the rest of you are paid shills. But, you know, I thought you would have, you know, being the criminals you are, you would have taken the hint and followed suit in what I was doing in lawfully investigating um criminal rackets and um, international criminal rackets and you would have set yourself up as pigeons so as you too could, you know, sue as a separate entity from your shell. I mean, that's what you guys do. You're, you're criminals, right? posing as investigators, so, you know, I thought that would have been a no-brainer, but I guess none of you, none of you retards are smart enough. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's go to the spam list. It's been a while. I'm still getting all these, I mean, people are just <clears throat> bending over back. Oh, by the way, uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to See, they're still bending over uh, backwards to um, try and launder non-existent inheritance funds through me. Uh, what can you say? What can I say? It all. Uh, Gaddafi opened up when he, uh, he he opened up doorways when he um, bequeathed me um, all them gold Gaddafis at sixty billion in gold Gaddafi coins. Granted, yes, yes, they did fake up a bunch and send me um, some gold-dipped tungsten coins, but those people have since been executed. Uh, you know, you fuck with killers, what do you expect, eh? No, not not me. I, I would have prevented them. In fact, I would have killed them had I caught them going to kill you. If there was no other lead lawful, practical way to st intervene and stop them and arrest them, because, you know, I, uh, I serve life, not death. I don't, I don't shoot innocent women and children. I don't kill killers needlessly. None of that shit. I, uh, 
I don't break the hoe. Had a very code. Hey, let's have some more. Oh, see, here, here we go. More money. Oh, another lawyer wants from Nigeria wants to give me all kinds of money. Isn't this a wonderful story? Uh, the big thing now is um, uh, malfeasantly uh, conspiring to transfer fake uh, inheritance from the Bank of Nigeria's holdings uh, into your hands. All they need is <laughs> your name, uh, your age, your, your bank account number, your credit card number, blah, blah, blah. Even though they have no fucking idea who you are, they're going to trust you with, uh, how much is this one? <laughs> See, look, even proof. See, you can go find out that they plagiarized all of these dead people from a Concord accident. Well, I hope you guys aren't superstitious about death and spirits and stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want them to come and haunt you in your the hallucinations that are going to be projected into your into your heads um, through your. Yes, I'll say it again through your communication interface, your your laptop, whatever, it doesn't matter. They all can be configured. If it can if it can compute on Windows or Mac, it can be turned into a microwave cannon and used to project shit into your head. Okay, see th this is the fate. This is the only real reply you fuckers are gonna get. And when you're totally fucking out of your gourds, well, you know then the investigation will probably, you know, lead into the roundup stage. And um, you fuckers are going to spend the rest of your days being drained data monkeys in an equivalent of a FEMA camp. As I've been warning you all along, but uh, you didn't care, because your Mossad handlers were saying, No, nah, that's bullshit! So, the main thing is, all along, you made informed choices. There was no ignorance. Not that ignorance has anything to do with anything, including your pre-sentence report. Because, well, you know, ignorance is no excuse in the face of the law. And, um, you know, even if it was, well, that's fine, but how do we know you won't, you know, just do something like this again. Be tricked into it because of your ignorance. Okay, we won't go into any of these be naughties because it turns out, remember I told you on the last report how all the girls from the Okanagan on be naughty had all migrated to the far end of the country, you know, Quebec, a few in Ontario. Well, then they, they've now... Uh, you know, and then they pretended it was a new con a new uh, owner to what you thought that would brush off all the crimes of the past owner, which in fact was the same new owner. Uh, no, I'm I'm sorry. Um, the old corporate shell game it doesn't hold spit when you're committing fraud. I would suggest you retain. A different lawyer instead of going after one of these corporate lawyers that couldn't really you know pass the bar I would suggest you go after a retaining a team of criminal lawyers now um, but remember now you're in a syndicate the bills the beans have been spilled um, well need I say any more than think of the bankers with offshore accounts jumping out of the windows with a little help from their handlers. Okay, the same fucking thing applies. I don't want to see a repeat of the Dirty Thirties uh, because um, dead innocent, d d dead evidence not only doesn't give very good evidence, gives no testimony, but also can't pay for damages and incarceration at the nearest FEMA 
data processing camp as data slave monkeys. You know, pay, you know, we don't bust rocks with sledgehammers and convict chains anymore, so, you know, there's machines that can do that for far cheaper than it would cost to feed you sawdust bread. Uh, should we go on? Sure, let's, let's find you a few more of these windfalls from the <coughs> Nigerian um, banksters. Oh, by the way, if you don't respond in time, they'll uh, they'll notify you that a uh, power of attorney. So some of them have been reading my political comedies. They now know what the word power of attorney means. They'll they'll file power of attorney on you. Uh, and um, assume possession of your malfeasance, illegitimate inheritance, fraud inheritance. So they, they just never ever have your basic, very basic information, but yet you got this huge motherfucking bank account that somehow magically <laughs> ended up in your name. Oh, 10.5 million. You see, this is why I need a wife and I need to make thou millions of children just to spend all this loot. Because, I mean, it's raining in faster than I could possibly even hope to count it, let alone reinvest it. <laughs> Hey, Cindy Bug. They think I'm nuts. Hey, it's Pawn Par. I don't expect you silly dogs to understand. Okay, you only have to wait six months between me and Can you imagine seven years? Of course, we're not talking about practicing. I would practice every day, and, and did when I had a mate. Ooh, here's another one. Ooh, how much is this one? 25.3 mil! What? Oh, fuck this deal. 50-40, no fucking way. I want 90% for running this scam. Doctor. Oh, again, fuck! You don't, you're such trusting people. Perfect strangers, and you're willing to solicit their credit card numbers? <laughs> okay, so there's the, uh, what's up this spring news. Um, I hope you've all, uh, not been too totally bored. Oh, and there's a new one, um, oh, wait a minute, I better, I better pull this up. There's a new scam that, um, they hack in through your uh, through your Facebook, just as we're not only picking on Google scams. Uh, where are we here? Let's just pull this up. Bear with me. So, don't bother trying to um, assist any of the young maidens trying to escape, because the ones that are actually trying to escape are probably global sinus getting busted operatives and sod operatives or worse so you know they would train multi-personality sociopaths uh, who would you know even if they did end up at your side they would poison you off at the first lick of, of uh, life insurance or whatever it's 
uh, it's trained killers for you. Especially, you know, the special variety of trained killers that have been conditioned. Okay, yeah, here, let's get you this new scam now. The newest dating scam from Face Punch. It was actually a very invasive uh, program that just leaped up all on its own while I was on another page. It's here somewhere. Maybe it was in here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, watch for these guys. Zook. I guess that's a uh, parody on Zuckerberg. Uh, so it's what the probably fuck's Google launch. So we at least got the bastards fighting each page? other. How the fuck did this get on my fucking uh, Facebook? Zuckerberg? Like, what the fuck? So, you know, uh, we'll just follow their own rules and um, divide and conquer, eh? Fucking spammy fucking crap. Well, some girls are, anyhow. Most of them, they're just confused. Looking for somebody to follow rather than looking in the mirror. Alrighty. So, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed, um... Spring 2014's... Um... Cyber dating fuckovers, or... Yeah, I guess we can call them that. And uh, I'll just, uh, speaking of computer vulnerabilities, I'll just remind you that uh, we very well could be in, a, in the midst of a core burst, size unknown. And, uh, you know, Carrington, or I don't really have anything more to add than that. This is not your average solar cycle by any measure. I hope you all dropped your penises and got out and saw Venuses up in the sky and uh, had a good peek. Not normal space weather whatsoever. As, uh, I've got a strong hunch.